away from the south shores of Lake Michigan. We're in South Bend, Indiana for today's game. Kickers got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He sends this one deep. For Arizona, Kirk Tick is inside the offensive coordinator's mind here and what he wants to attack against this defense. Well, they use a spread look. A lot of teams tend to throw more out of it because you've got a bunch of receivers out there, but I think it can be really effective for running the football, too. You can go with some options or even some designed runs. There's definitely room for it. They didn't snap the ball in time. you got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. First and 15 now. Ball on the 20. Fires quickly and he's got his man. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown. Big play. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. And he hits the, the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He got all of that one. go to work at the 25 first down 10 yards to go and they make the stop at about the 27 yard line a yard maybe two on the carry with the defensive line neutralizing the blocks these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes second and eight coming up here Ball on the 27. Takes it left on the option. Nice run there. Wood gains about five yards on the run. down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down throws quickly and it's almost intercepted these guys especially in the secondary really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball Turk is waiting for the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Fielded at the 19. He's to the 40. Across midfield. He's taken down at the 36.
So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out on the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move it. Brought down around the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. Arizona up seven points. They go to the ground game. He's at the 30, and he's taken down around the 25-yard line. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. First and 10, ball on the 25. They come out in a five-wide set. And down he goes, right around the 24-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 24. And he tackles him hard at the 21. That's carry. Gets three yards on the carry. That'll make it 35. Third and five. Ball on the 21. And the stadium is shaking right now. They're showing blitz. They might be coming here. Now he tries to buy some time. Fires quickly and it's picked off. That's a great tackle. The 17-yard line. I just don't think he saw the defender. And he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. It's first and ten. Ball on the 17. On the ground, up the middle. And he is drilled. The 27-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Good for a game of six yards. That's good enough for another Notre Dame first down. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. Looking for his man, incomplete. Number nine was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. He drops back. He wants it all going long. Can't pull it in. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 10. We've got third and ten. Ball on their own 33. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And here's a quick throw. Oh, what an interception. 
And he's tackled at the 42. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. From their own 42-yard line, first down, Arizona is up by a touchdown. Gets it, he's in space. He's pushed out of bounds at the 43. Gain 15 on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Looks to pass. Throws it deep. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. First down. First and goal here. Let's see if they keep it on the ground inside the five. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Tackle made just outside the goal line. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. From the one-yard line, second down. They put everyone up on the line. He's tackled at the one. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. And this stadium is alive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. He's taken down around the four-yard line. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. And the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. Drops to throw on first down. Quick strike to the receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at the 49-yard line. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Draw play. Nice run, and he's brought down around five yards on the delayed handoff. That brings up second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 46. First and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Over the middle to his tailback. They'll bring him down at the 27. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. It's 
It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 27. Drops back to pass. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw out to the receiver. They can't bring him down, and he's in. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he adds the extra point. This is just a booming kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. They'll get the ball here at the 25. Arizona holds a field goal lead. He pumps once. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Tackle at the 38. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. First down. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. And he can't get away from the pressure. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. So the sack makes this a second and long. Give to the tailback. Tackled after a decent pickup. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. From their own 34 yard line. Third down. The crowd really making it difficult. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. He pump fakes. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. He's had a good game, snaring passes for 100 yards. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy, I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. And we're still in the first half, so there's a lot of time left for this kid to build on those statistics. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Arizona has a three-point lead. Picks up about four yards on the play. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 41 yard line, it's second down. carries for a pickup of three. That makes it third and three. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Throws a laser across the middle. 
The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out on the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move it. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Number 80 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Hot, hot, hot. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's taken down around the 20-yard line. That's a loss of about five. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. from their own 20-yard line. It's third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Wants to go long and does. Drops it. Goodman was the intended target. That's going to bring up fourth down. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Turk awaits the snap. Very high punt. The birds better watch out. And he's taken down at the 37. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. They'll go to work at the 37-yard line. Setting up play action. He steps out at the 47. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They're packed in tight on the line. And down he goes, right around midfield. That's first down, pick up by the tailback. You can see how that comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. From midfield, first down. And he might change the play here before the snap. And a quick throw. He's at the 40, and he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From the 36-yard line, first down. the tailback nice run up the middle carry gains around six yards on the run that'll bring up second and three they need about three yards to get the first here on second down it's a 
bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up. And he didn't get all of it. It falls short. They're ready to begin another drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. He goes downtown. Incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 32. Drops back to pass. Lost the ball. Fumble. Defense has it. It's the linebacker. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just... Can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. The offense will take over at the 43. Here we go. Three, Put. Scott drops back. Feeling the pressure and he fumbles the football. Looks like the offense has it. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Feeds it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds around the 43 yard line. That brings up third and ten. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. It's already noisy in here, and now the defense pumping up the crowd. Looks middle, got his back. So it's fourth down, fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. That could be a check with me right there. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws out to the back, and he can't hold on to it. A minute left in the half. Looking to throw. Going deep. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. 
The defense here comes up with a huge interception. They've already got the lead, and it looked like this offense was trying to get back in the game, but that was a big turnover. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 30. Hand off to the right. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Good job. The defense to remain a minimize the yardage on that run. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. Gives it to the back. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. He drops back. Quick strike to the receiver. And he hits him hard at the 41. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. He airs it out. He caught it. Touchdown. He makes his second touchdown grab of the game. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. And he hits the PAT. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. He kicks a low line drive. Tries to get around the corner. He's out to the 30. At the 40. He's taken down at the 45. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. The Wildcats lead it by 17. Arizona will be kicking off to start the second half. Number six, deep to return. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10. And he's tackled at the 17. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Ready, hot, hot. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. He drops back. He's got to throw it in a hurry. There's a fumble. Defense says they've got it, and they do. So they'll start this drive inside the red zone. He makes it to the 15-yard line. That's a game of one in the That brings up second and nine. Now. 
Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 15. They'll go with the option. The ball pops free. And he's level at the 18-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Looks to pass. Quick pass. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. Once this guy gets into the secondary, he can be a real problem to bring down. He can shake off a lot of tacklers who are smaller than he is. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Back to pass. Under pressure. He's at the 30. And they finally push him out at the 10-yard line. He showed his athletic ability on that one. There you see the things we've been talking about all week, which is the athleticism, the ability to improvise, and the big play capability all in one play. What a spectacular run. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Hot. Hot. Tackle made around the 12 yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 12-yard line. Makes it to the 12-yard line. No game. That brings up third and 12. Got third and 12. Ball on the 12. Back to pass. Pocket holds. They're not done yet. Sometimes all it takes is a little stutter step at the line of scrimmage or one wrong step in the opposite direction for a play to have success. Tacks on the extra point. Turk has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And this is just a booming kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Gives it off. And he is drilled at the 34. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one.
It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they make the stop at the 36. Gain of two on the play. First down. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Option left gets to about the 37 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Number 19 is in a second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. They hand it off, and he's taken down around the 39-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it 37. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 39. Incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Cooper was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. He's out to the thirty. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out on the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move it. Play action here. He's going to scramble. And they couldn't hook up on that one. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. If you spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go, you got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Drops back to pass. He's in trouble. He's going to try and scramble. Room around the corner. Knocked out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Buckner is back awaiting the punt. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done.
Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. Harry comes away with two yards on the carry. If it's any consolation, he did pick up some positive yards, but I doubt that's enough to make him forget the hit that he just took. Second and eight. Ball on the 20 yard line. Takes the ball inside. And down he goes. Right around the 36 yard line. 16 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Again with a carry. He fights forward to about the 39. So they get about three on the draw. That'll make it second and seven. That's three down and one to go. The Wildcats with a 10-point lead. From their own 39-yard line, second down. Backs got it. He's at the 40. At the 30. And he's tackled around the 21 yard line. That's a gain of 40 on the play. First down. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Right around the 22-yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 22-yard line, second down. That's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. From the 25 yard line. Third down. He gives a pump fake. Nice play across the middle. Brought down right around the 12 yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. But well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Fourth down, they'll line up for the field goal. And this is nothing more than a chip shot. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Arizona ready to kick this one off. Number six needs to return. Excellent kick. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. They need to move the ball down the field quickly and efficiently. They should maybe even throw in some no huddle to conserve time. They're ready to begin another drive. 
And it looks like they're going to change it up here. He drops to throw on first down. He airs it out. Incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Drops back to pass. Has time. He's under some heat. Quick pass intercepted. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 16. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's tackled at the nine, and he gets a yard on the run. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Fellas, the crowd is just going ballistic in support of their defense right here on third and short. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. Solid five-yard pickup. He was almost able to get to the secondary, but as it is, he still manages to move the sticks. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Defense stacked in tight here. He's taken down at the two-yard line. They're at the two. It's second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Scott gets the ball. They'll knock him down for a loss. We'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. And he tackles him hard at the four-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Notre Dame's going to take their first time out of the half. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Hey, we've seen some crazy things over the years in college football. You never know what could happen. If the offense can score in a hurry, you never know here late in this game. They'll 
set up shot at the 25. He guns it to the left. Incomplete. Almost picked off. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. Just under two minutes in the game. They try to get a head start there. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. He drops back. He's on the run. He can run. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 49. What a run by the quarterback. Well, this guy is dangerous. He can hurt you by running or throwing. There you can see how talented he is as a runner. Play breaks down. He didn't panic or get flustered. He just tucks it in and picks up a nice game. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. This is a well-prepared defense. They know where to be, and they know what their opponent likes to do. And they play tight coverage as well. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Back to pass. Aaron and out long. It's broken up. That was a nice, nice play to close on the ball like that. You can't teach that kind of reaction. It's just natural ability. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Looking to throw. He scrambled. He's looking down the middle. Swatted away. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. So it's fourth down. Fourth down. And the offense is still on the field. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's looking to pass. Quick throw to the 20. And they make the stop at the 13. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's pushed out of bounds at the seven yard line. That's a game of six on the floor. That'll make it second and four. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws incomplete. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. They're crowding the line. Back to pass. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And they get the two. So with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Arizona 30, Notre Dame 22. Brought down at 
the 42. The offense will start at the 42-yard line. Under a minute left. Room around the corner. Good outside run there. Notre Dame will take their second time out of the half. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They line up in the jumbo set. And he's taken down at the 36. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The crowd is deafening. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Tackle for a loss, and they'll turn it over on downs. The defense can hold here with less than two minutes to go. It should be a victory. First down, look at the throw. Throws it deep. They knock it down, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. He lets it fly. Missed him. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Arizona 30, Notre Dame 22. The Fighting Irish 22. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? This is the kind of win that can make a team season. Pulling off the upset in nail-biting fashion. Fantastic team victory. Arizona forgot that the big underdog isn't supposed to win. And this wasn't easy. But they played with purpose. They played confidently. And that's how they came away with an upset win. For Buckner, his great performance earns him our player of the game. For Arizona, this win puts them at 2-1, and one, and they'll try to gain momentum early in the season. And for the Fighting Irish, this will be their first loss of the year. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 13. For Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.